Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Software Basics. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to give your WordPress website its own directory. So you can see here, I have a WordPress site going. Now this is running on my local host and it is on the current domain. So I'll just bring this up on Windows File Explorer. This is all the content of the WordPress site. Now what I basically want to do is create a new folder in the root. So I'll just call this WordPress. And essentially I wanna move all of this WordPress content into here and then still be able to run my website from the root folder. Now this will apply on any server whether it's local host or um, any shared hosting, such as a cPanel server, anything like that. It is actually quite simple to do. So what we're gonna do first is head over to settings. What we want to do is where it says WordPress address, we wanna add the path to that folder. So we're gonna say forward slash and WordPress. Now make sure it is exactly how you spell the folder. So this is all caps. Yeah, so what we wanna do now is just scroll down and click on save. Now it's gonna show not found, don't worry about that. So what we're gonna do is come to the directory and move all the WordPress content into that. And we'll go back in. I'm just gonna copy the index.php. And what you would wanna do is also copy the HT access. Um, if you already have one in the roots, then you can leave it there. You don't have to move that over. So what we're gonna do is open this in a text editor. Now, if you're working from a remote server, you can do the exact same. Okay, so I have opened this in Visual Studio Code. In this section, what you basically want to do now is add the path to the folder location that you've moved your WordPress site into. So in this case, it's gonna be WordPress again, all caps, and then just forward slash. And of course, if you've added it into multiple layers of folders, you just have to essentially put it in that path. So what we're going to do is control S here and save. Again, if you're doing this remotely, you just have to use your FTP client or something like that, you know, like Cyberduck or FileZilla or even your internal server editor. So once we have that done, we'll come over here, refresh this page. So we're gonna go to forward slash WP admin. So if that doesn't work, we'll just first specify the path. So WordPress forward slash WP dash admin. And we'll hit enter. And the last thing we just need to do is go into permalinks and just make sure you set it to post name and hit save. So now if we go just directly to the website domain, you can see it brings us here. And then when we hit sample page, all our permalinks work appropriately with this domain name. However, as you can see, our WordPress content is within its own folder. So it kind of, well not kind of, it actually reduces the cluster quite a bit. So yeah, that's how you do it. It's fairly straightforward. And like I said, this also applies to remote servers as well. I'm obviously just doing this locally for demonstrational purposes. But yeah, if you do have any questions at all, please make sure to leave it down in the comment section below. And also don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.